everyone, it's Brittany and today I'm going to share my skincare routine with you guys. This has been highly requested and I feel like the last time I did one my routine was much different and I finally have it down. This is probably the clearest my skin has ever been. Possibly my age has a slight factor to that. I am halfway through my 20s now, which is so weird to say. But I'm definitely someone who can easily get clogged pores and just my makeup doesn't go on very smooth. So I found products that make this such a clean slate for makeup and I feel like it's really important to have a really good canvas for the makeup to be applied to, if that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's hop into my routine. Step one, if I'm wearing any makeup that is difficult to get off, especially waterproof makeup, I will first go in with the Bourjois, Bourjois, I think that's how you say this brand, I always mess it up, the Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. This is just really oily and it really takes off any makeup, like matte lipstick or waterproof mascara. This I'm obsessed with, I've repurchased it many times. I cannot live without it. Um, really, really good. Like I said, the Bourjois makeup remover is very oily, so I have to go in with a cleanser after that to kind of get all of the broken up makeup and oil off of my face. So I use the Fresh Soy Cleanser with my Luna 2. I have talked about this a few times now. I am obsessed with it. I really, really feel like it has improved the texture of my skin. I'll switch up this makeup wash remover thing. Makeup lotion wash, what am I saying? I'll switch up this cleanser. Sometimes I use this Soap and Glory one. It's like the sea green with little pink exfoliating dots in it. Um, right now I'm just using this one. The Luna 2 is really the hero in my eyes. Yes, get this, it's, it's worth every penny. Then moving on to moisturizer, I use a couple different products and the first one I go in with, and it's so important, is an eye cream. And my favorite is the Amour Pacific. This is, it looks really small and it goes really quickly. It's, the Amour Pacific line is just beautiful. It's just really expensive. Um, so if you're someone who really cares about your skin, invest in something like an Amour Pacific eye cream. I just dab it on very gently underneath my eyes and I bring like a little bit onto my lids, just like a little, little bit. I am prone to get dry skin, unfortunately. As I get older, I notice that I have dry and oily skin, which is really fun, thank you skin. So on my dry spots, I try to pinpoint the Josie Moran 100% Pure Argan Oil. Um, it has like this little dropper. I just do like one to two drops and I mostly get dry where I tweeze my eyebrows. Um, I don't put it like on my eyebrows though, just like around on the skin area and around my nose I get really dry, um, especially in the winter if like I get allergies and I'm like blowing my nose or the springtime, pretty much any time. And for my all over main face lotion, I use the Amore Pacific and I am out of it. So this is kind of like a placeholder. This is the sleep recovery, but I use the moisture bound one again, cause I have dry skin. So I pretty much just apply this all over avoiding my eye area. And I always try to take it down my neck because I feel like that's where people age the most because people tend to avoid that area when they apply moisturizer or sunscreen. So really take it just all over your body pretty much. And I felt like I would include lips in the skincare routine because to me it is part of my routine and I feel like lips are very important and sometimes forgotten. I use the Bite Agave Lip Mask at night. And in the daytime, pretty much all throughout the day, I will use the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. This is just a tinted one in rose. This is probably my favorite tinted one. It gives like a really nice just color to the lips. I also use the just regular one throughout the day if I don't really care about color. And just for fun, I thought I would throw in a mask I've really been loving. This is the Bourjois Chor Charcoal. Charcoal <laughs> Pore Pudding. Why is talking so hard on camera? I feel like I never mess up words just like day to day. Once I turn the camera on, it's like I'm literally just This is what it looks like and you just leave it on for like 15 minutes and I feel like it just 
my skin is smoother afterwards and I feel like it helps with my pore size. I'm a big fan of doing masks. I'll just do them once a week. And I just realized I forgot to grab my exfoliator. Um, I use the Philosophy Microdermabrasion Set. I've used it for years. I use it once or twice a week, especially the night before an event or anything where I'll have photos taken. I love that stuff, can't believe I forgot it. And the last thing I wanted to mention, mostly because I feel like most people don't talk about it or think about it, and I've noticed a big difference since I started incorporating this into my skincare routine, uh, cleaning your brushes. Especially if you love makeup like I do, you can really abuse your brushes and you just, you tend to use a bunch of products and I'll bring them in a purse, I'll use them throughout the day and they get dirty and I use makeup pretty much every day so I won't really clean it as much as I should have. In the recent months to clean my brushes, I have been using this really cool device. It is the Lilimia Brush Cleaner and it cleans your brushes for you. And without the little egg dome top, this is what it looks like. I really want to show you guys how to use this because it is really interesting. And they have information on their website, I think it's lulumia.com, how to or get started. It takes you through all the steps and it definitely was like a small learning curve. It took me one to two times of using it to really get it down and not have to look at the instructions and be like, I got this. So I want to show you guys how to do it because I feel like that's the easiest way to learn. I'm so used to it. It takes way, way less time than it would for me to go through and clean all of my brushes by hand. Plus, I feel like they're a lot more cleaner and hygienic and they don't hurt my face. Here we start. We have the dirty brushes. You're just going to want to wipe off the excess product. Fill the Lulumia with water and add soap to the top. You're gonna want to put the brushes through the holder, put the egg dome top back on, and press start. And it will move the brushes back and forth to give them a nice clean. When the first round is done, you're gonna want to pour out the dirty water and put it back in. Take out the brushes with a towel, not a paper towel. I would suggest a towel. You're gonna want to clean the excess water and also clean where the soap was. Put the water back in the top this time. Put the dome top back on and give it another little cycle rinse and this will get all of the soap and excess dirt off. And when you're done, pinch it clean and here you have the clean brushes. So it's pretty simple. You can also just hang them up to dry at a 180 degree angle. And as you can see, this is what it looks like from start to finish. Well, I think that is everything. I'm looking around. That is my full skincare routine. This is pretty much how I have kept my skin clear and healthy. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give it a like. If you have any requests for future videos, let me know. I love knowing what you guys would like to see. And I love you and I will see you all, all blah, blah, blah. And I will see you all in my next video. 